Question 3, a parabola is given and a point also P of 3, 16. And the equation of the parabola is y equals x squared plus 3x minus 2. And the point lies on the curve. Your part A says find the gradient of the tangent, tangent to the curve at the point P. This, this question has two marks. Okay, this is the diagram. You are given a parabola and the equation of a parabola is x squared plus 3x minus 2 and a point is given p of 3 comma 16 you need to find the gradient of this tangent if you can draw a tangent here what is the gradient of the or the slope of this tangent line so if you want to find the gradient of a curve at a particular point you need to differentiate it so when you differentiate dy with respect to dx equals you need to know how to differentiate all the algebraic function. If you have x to the power n, when you differentiate it becomes x to the n, x to the power n minus 1. So x square when you differentiate 2x to the power 2 minus 1, which is 1. So 2x. And when you differentiate 3x, x becomes 1, so 3. When you differentiate constant, it's 0. So 2x plus 3. That's all. That's the gradient function. So if you want the gradient at a particular point, Take the x coordinate 3, substitute here. So your dy upon dx at p of 3 comma 16 or x is equal to 3. When you substitute x is equal to 3, 2 times 3 plus 3 which is 6 plus 3, 9. 9 is the uh, gradient of this tangent line at the point which touches the curve at the point p. So this has two marks. Now we move on to part B. Part B says find in terms uh, the point Q with x coordinate 3 plus h also lies on the curve. Find in terms of h the gradient of the line PQ. Write your answer in simplest form and this question carries three marks. So we are we are going to take another point Q and we don't know where the point is. Let's just take a random point Q because we don't know. We don't know the value of h. So let's say this is Q. The x coordinate is given 3 plus h, y coordinate is not given, but they want you to find the gradient of pq, so you need the y coordinate. So what do you do? You take it as y, substitute x in here, you can get the y coordinate. In your actual equation, x square plus 3x minus 2, substitute x is equal to 3 plus h, so you can get the y coordinate of this point. When you substitute x is equal to 3 plus h, it will become 3 plus h all square minus 3 into 3 plus h minus 2. Or you can simplify a plus b whole square. Don't just put 3 square plus h square, that's wrong. You need to uh, take it as two factors, 3 plus h into 3 plus h and multiply. Uh, apply the formula a plus b whole square. a square plus b square plus 2ab, which is 6h. You multiply these 9 plus 3h minus 2. So it will become h square plus 9h plus 18 minus 2 is plus 16. That is the y coordinate of the point q. So the q has x coordinate 3 plus h and y coordinate, y coordinate will be h square plus 9h plus 16 h square plus 9h plus 16. That's a y coordinate. So when you have two points, you can find the slope of the line joining the two points. We know the formula for slope is y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. You can take any point as x1, y1, another one as x, x2, y2. So let's say this is x1, y1, x2, y2. y2 minus y1. So your h square plus 9h plus 16 y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. So your 16 cancel, your 3 cancel. You take h out, h into h plus 9 upon h. So your slope of the line PQ is 9 plus h. We already got the slope in part A, we got the slope of this tangent line, take it as M1, which is 9. Here the slope M2 of this line PQ, we don't know where the point is, we don't know where the point is, 
but the uh, slope of this line PQ is 9 plus H. So part C says explain briefly the relationship between the answer to B and answer to A. So part C says explain the relation between uh, the answer in part A and answer in part B. When you look at the answer in part A, our answer is our gradient equals 9. Correct? The gradient of the tangent line is 9. When you look at the part B, our answer is the gradient of the line PQ, let's take it as M2, is 9 plus H. So they want you to explain the relation between them. What relation? When your H is, when you, even when you look at the points, this is 316 and here it's 3 plus H and some other function. But when you, the moment you substitute H as 0, h is 0, this point is 3, this whole point is 16. That means if you reduce this distance, in mathematically, if you want to say it mathematically, when your h tends to 0, when your limit of h reduces to 0, the q is basically 3, 16 because this h is 0, this will become 0, so it's 3, this whole thing is 0, it's 16, it is same as point p. So when your h tends to 0, they want you to, they are not asking you to explain the points, but they want you to compare the uh, answer in A and answer in B. So when your h becomes 0, the gradient are same. So that's all you can say, nothing else. When your h tends to 0, m1 equals m2. That's all, because it's just one more question only.